Hey everybody, Rick Denham here with Holy Moly Outdoors. We're sitting just a few short hours away from an awesome fishery opener on Lake Wenatchee for sockeye salmon. For 2016, it's a six fish limit. And my goodness everybody, this is going to be a fun place to fish. So, in preparation for the opener, I thought I'd do a little short video here on some of the great tackle that will work for you out there. And really guys, it's just kokanee fishing a little bit more on the upside. So you don't need to go out and buy specialized gear for this fishery. You probably already have it in your tackle box. Especially those that are fishing Baker Lake or have fished Lake Washington before. Very similar type style of fishing. So I'll first start over here with terminal gear. I think one of the best rods you could be running for this type of fishery is something that's really light but it's going to be tech bites and have a lot of fun reeling in those fish. And I think Velocity has some of the perfect rods for you guys out there. This one happens to be the Extreme Salmon Series, the 902 ML. It's a 6 to 15 on the line rating, 9 foot rod, very parabolic, great action rod. Paired up with here I got just a uh, older Shimano TR100, but uh, there's some really nice Velocity Recons and uh, you guys can really go whatever route you want with your reels. Um, preference for me is sticking with the velocity stuff this year and I have really no reason to change away from that. As far as main line goes, you can go anywhere from 20 pound test is what I got on this and I use this happen to be in the salt water as well. But 15 to 20 pound test is probably a good mark to go with. I like running for my leaders at least 20 pound on the fluorocarbon is a good way to start. You've even gone all the way up to uh, 25, 30, but the Lake Wenatchee fish aren't as crazy hot as your Baker Lake fish, so you can get away with the 20 pound test no problem. After you get away from your terminal tackle there, um, we look at kind of the meat and potatoes of your whole options for fishing. You're going to need a good dodger of some sort, and then your terminal rigging and in front of me here I've got a large variety um, you have your large style uh, Jensen Dodger it's the aught size on our far right you have your max double D's in the large size of theirs and then you have a couple Barrett Dodgers in the middle and a couple of the five and a half inch Rocky Mountain Tackle signature Dodgers there all of these work well you can attract a lot more fish with this bigger stuff, but you'll find sometimes as the day wears on, more pressure, the smaller stuff tends to end up picking up a lot more fish, while this tends to spook them away. Um, really guys, think of Lake Wenatchee like you have for Lake Washington sockeye. Ot sized dodger, couple bear hooks, you can catch just as many fish as anyone else. But part of the fun of being a fisherman is having all this other stuff to play around with and you never know what's going to be the hot ticket on any given day. So what I like to run last year, one of our best productive rigs was this, two red hooks and a Radical Glow UV Orange, two of those beads right up in front of the hooks spaced out running only about not even eight inch liter behind one of our double D's there and that ended up accounting for quite a few fish on one of the days another really effective rig was was a microplankton hoochie squid a couple blue hooks and a few glow beads but again short liter and uh, yeah it really can go to whatever imagination you have to catch fish with these more colored hooks contrast wise you have a glow and a pink chartreuse and orange um, really guys it's going to all work well I think this year I'm going to try a little bit more wicked lures so spinner wise to give a little bit more action um, you could even do the shaker wings go into more hoochie styles you can run these olympic tackle squid um, flies which are really killer and I think they're going to do really well at Wenatchee. You can go micro squids like you have the inch and a half hoochie kings. Tied up some rasticles over there. You can go the old stable, um, 
Lake Washington sockeye stuff where they were running U20 flatfish and I got some of the 3.0 size maglips here to give a try. Never know if it's going to work or not. You can then get down even to more action lure style like this is your billfish from Rocky Mountain Tackle that acts like a crankbait and you can run it probably 20 inches to 24 inches behind your dodger and see what happens. So really guys it is up to your imagination of what you want to try out there. Bear hooks do really well, but it's also part of the fun experiment and tie your own gear. But Lake Wenatchee guys is opening up tomorrow. Barbless hooks and no scent. You have to remember that. And uh, you have to have a knotless net on board. Uh, rubber coated I believe. So just check the rigs. Make sure you uh, have everything that you need. But Lake Wenatchee is going to be a blast. Hopefully I can get up uh, the next couple of days or so and actually have a report for you guys. But any of this type of gear you have in front of us here is going to work very well. And uh, it will be a fun time fishing with the six fish limit. So anyways, take care guys. This is Rick Denham with Holy Moly Outdoors signing off. Good luck on the water. Fish on.